guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and today I'm going to show you how I got this look right here. I was inspired by this picture right here and I'm super excited for you guys to see it because it's super easy to do. I can't tell you guys how many times I practice Halloween looks and I did not like them whatsoever because they're super hard. It takes all day and I didn't end up liking it. But this one right here is super easy to do and I feel like anyone can do this. Before we continue, if you like this look, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment what you think down below and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you will get notified every time I upload a new video so if you want to see how I created this look then keep on watching okay the first thing I'm going to apply is the Too Faced hangover primer all over my face that's just so the makeup can stay on a lot longer all night if you're gonna go to a party after I apply it I like to push it down into my skin around my nose just so it, it can really make my nostril my nostrils <laughs> my pores disappear. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue my eyebrows down. Now I've never done this before. I don't know if it's gonna come out right. I hope it does because if I don't do this, it just I know it's gonna look weird. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna use the Elmer's glue stick. I got this at Target, I think. I mean, I have seen a few videos, but who knows if it's gonna come out the same. Since my hairs are long, I'm just gonna keep them up like this instead of brushing them to the side just because I want them to really be flat on my face. So I went to Walmart to buy this white face paint. This is what most of the people that do like Halloween looks, this is what they use, but I practiced a few times some Halloween looks and it broke my, it broke my face. It made me break out from just the bottom part right here. And plus it looks very patchy. You have like a lot of cracks and it just, it does not look good. Or maybe I don't know how to use them. What I do recommend is foundation. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. Obviously, it's not the same shade as my skin. I got it. Well, it's not, I didn't get it. I think it was my sister's. I don't know, but I've been having it for a while. And I just thought maybe I can use a lighter, a very light foundation if I want my face to look white. So I'm just going to use this all over my face. And then having a primer and a foundation and setting it how you normally set your foundation, I already know it's going to last me all night. I know it's not going to fade away or start cracking like throughout the day. I'm just going to stop right there. I'm not going to move it down to my neck. It doesn't matter if it left any creases under my eyes or on my lids. I'm going to cover that anyways. I'm going to set my whole face with this Rimmel translucent powder. It feels and looks a lot better than when I used the white face paint. I did not like this at all. Now the black paint, I did like. It did cover a lot. This is what I'm going to use on my eyes. And I also got this at Walmart for like 98 cents. I'm gonna be using the Luxie 211 concealer brush to apply the black paint on my eyes. The few times that I practiced with these paints, I first started by tracing out whatever I'm going to do, but that kind of confused me and that would just mess up a lot. So this time, I'm just gonna like wing it pretty much. Now I'm gonna get this tiny brush from Anastasia number three. I'm just going to make the line straighter from the bottom. And it doesn't have to look perfect, like a perfect round black thing. <laughs> as long as it looks nice. This part isn't hard, but it does take a long time if you want it to look nice. I don't want it to be all black, so instead of setting that with, because you have to set it, but instead of using black eyeshadow about or black powder, I'm going to go into this eyeshadow right here. This one's the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I just wanted a very dark burgundy color on my eyes and on my lips. So this is a perfect shade for that. You have to be careful right on the edge of the black circle, because if you don't want the color to go out, you have to be really careful, but I want the same burgundy burgundy shade to kind of come out, but like very light. I'm gonna switch brushes. This is the Anastasia A24 brush, and it doesn't have anything on it. So I'm just gonna kind of go like grab some of the shade and then go over it like this. Cause I really, I just want it to be a very light burgundy shade. And I'm just gonna keep grabbing some of the eyeshadow like this and then taking it out. This next part is not hard. We have to be really careful when you're doing it. I'm gonna do the black right here. I'm gonna get the same palette and go into the black eyeshadow. And I'm using the Anastasia A16 brush. I'm going to start by applying it right where I normally would contour. Where it occurs right here, I'm gonna try not to get have a lot of the black eyeshadow on the brush because I want it to kind of fade out right there. I'm gonna start doing the other side and right here's where I have to be extra careful because I want it to be exactly the same as the other side. They have to be even. This next part is super easy. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit from the 
bottle just so it can pop out a little bit and then I'm gonna use the back of this brush right here and I'm just gonna get a little bit from that and that's how I'm gonna do the circles around my eyes I'm gonna get this angled eyeliner brush from elf cosmetics to first outline the nose I'm sorry about making it small that way if I mess up I can just make it a little bit bigger so it won't look bad then I'm gonna go back to the Lexi 211 concealer brush to fill that in then I'm going to set that with the same black eyeshadow from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. You don't want it to be moving around anywhere throughout the day or the night. Now for the lips, I'm going to use this liquid lipstick in Heathers from Anastasia. You can choose any liquid lipstick that matches whatever shade you're going to put on your eyes. First, I'm going to apply it how I normally do. And I'm using the Anastasia number no. 3 brush, pencil brush again to overdraw my lips a little bit more. Well, not a little bit more, I might do a lot more. And then on the end of the lips, I will kind of want it to be very pointy, so I'm gonna wing it out. And I know at first it's gonna look so weird, like clown lips, but once I'm finished, it's not gonna look that bad. For the teeth, I'm obviously not going to draw in the teeth because that's so hard for me to do. So what I decided to do is do like little triangles and then kind of make them like very, very pointy. Just like the picture. This is super, super easy to do. Now the, one, the ones on the lips, I don't want them to be triangle. So I'm just going to pretty much make them a line and then very sharp too. And now for the very tricky part, the little designs on the forehead and on the chin. These are seriously the hardest ones, just because I feel like if I mess up, I can't really go back. So let's hope this comes out right. And, and for the black dot, I'm going to do it exactly how I did it around my, my eyes. And I'm going to apply this beautiful wig from Everyday Wigs. I did do a review, I think a year ago, on the website and this wig. I will link it down below if you guys would like to see it. This wig just adds an extra touch to the whole look. And I really love it. And of course, this is optional. You don't really need a wig if you're going to do a makeup like this. And another little extra touch would be the highlight. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Highlighter. And I'm applying the 7 Day Weekend, which is like a... A pinkish shade another thing you can add is fake eyelashes or just curl your lashes and put mascara I'm going to skip that but what I am gonna do is put eyeshadow on my eyelid and on my lower lash line I just want that part of my eye to be darker I'm also gonna take this black eyeliner from LA girl and put that on my waterline uh, look at that it completely got ruined I don't know how it happened but it smudged and it's ugly now. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share it if you like. And let me know in the comments what you think. And if you do try it out, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I really hope you guys liked it. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.